do you do you forecast do you see a change in this where there will be more focus towards total revenue management or will it stay again um, mostly on rooms uh, I hope that we're finally going to do that uh, because I mean it's it's high time we've been talking about this so much uh, but still I mean for us we we do this with our hotels but usually it, it, it is a bit of a challenge because well you have different departments that you need to involve in this as well mm-hmm. but I, I think so actually I mean there's there's two things that we that we need to do right now is try to earn more and I think that yeah the total revenue or just like like the focus on your complete income that is um, vital it's always been but then okay maybe even more now mm-hmm. but also the fact that what what for instance what what, what you do at Oki the, the 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 pre-arrival stay and maybe try to get more revenue out of each customer at the time that they are most open for more sales Mm. Yeah. That is also going to be uh, very good. I mean, it's even you're talking about private, like 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 um, uh, uh, private travelers, uh, like you and me, just traveling on a leisure um, occasion. So we do this because I mean, yeah, we've deserved it and so on. And if you get an email um, from standard to maybe superior, I think that's. Um, we leisure guests are much more open to do that and if that is the market that is going to travel more maybe also these kind of things are going to help much more so I'd like hotels to focus much more on trying to earn a little bit more on every guest coming in and then you have of course the other side of the the, the point that's just trying to minimize costs and I think here technology is going to be much more vital also so as a reply to your, your your question yes total revenue i hope that we're going to to focus more on it but it's also maybe um, the focus on profits that is going to increase mm-hmm. and I'd, I'd love to see that one coming actually that will probably will be driven by owners that well all of a sudden really have to worry about profits while in the past things were doing so well that i mean they always do care about profits but maybe less yeah. at a granular level of course, of course, of course. I mean, you can see that uh, margins have been minimized because, I mean, uh, distribution costs for us, as an example, they have just like increased in a much larger extent than, than our total income. But still, you know, um, and I'm generalizing here, but a lot of hotels that we start working with, the first question we ask them is like, okay, can we have an insight on your costs, your fixed costs, your, your, your variable costs? And it's, it's amazingly few hotels that can give it to us immediately it's actually very often a little bit of a question like oh, why do you want to know that and, oh, it's, it's very expensive and so on uh, and that is actually i mean something that is quite important for us not that we want to always have a rate that is like at, at, at um, break even point but for us we need to understand what the cost is in order to to to, to maximize the the, the, the profits mm-hmm. So I think it starts with, yes, hotels, they are very much, uh, they they understand very much that they need to make a profit, but it also means that they have to really break it down. What is the actual cost for cleaning? What is the actual cost for um, my my staff, uh, the extra cost for distribution. Where where is where 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 are the possibilities that we that, that, that we can get? So, I that's that's I think I hope the finally that we're going to go for profit management. Gop bar is going to be the new ref bar. Yeah, Amazing. understanding the segments that you have and um, that you think are going to to be the ones that are going to recover from this. Mm-hmm. Then understanding how much it's going to cost you to bring those segments in. So I think costs are going to be huge. I think um, hotels will need to understand the cost of um, occupied room, which very few do, truthfully, very few understand that. So, you know, what is my cost of occupied room? What is my um, COCA? So my cost of customer acquisition, how much is it going to cost me to bring that customer? If it's going to, if I've never had a strong leisure base before, if this is a whole new market to me, what on earth do I need to do to attract that? So yes, I need to understand my costs. I need to understand how I'm going to distribute on those. And you know, in one sense, we're kind of lucky in that if it's staycation, then if you're working with a digital marketing company, 
you can have a very clear uh, route to market through pay per click. You yeah. know the demographics. I want to, you know, within a three hour drive of my hotel. This is the age group that I want. You know, I, and you know, if if you're not, you know, if it's if you think, okay, well, I'm going to try and attract families. I've never attracted families before. Okay, what do you actually need to do? Um, you know, and. Uh, I hosted a webinar yesterday and actually um, the wonderful Ali Northfield um, said something that just brought something back into my head that years ago there was a hotel that I worked with and they had no family rooms, none. And they wanted to attract the family market. So they went out and bought, you know, little teepees, little tents, big ones, and they put those in the rooms with a quilt on the bottom. Amazing. Um, and they, the kids loved it. They took milk and cookies to the room and they had the kids sleeping on the floor in tents. Um, and every school holiday, that hotel just got repeat business because they loved it. So there's definitely things that we can do and it's about us encouraging people into the hotels, but also allowing them to understand that they can get out of the hotel. Um.